I recently read an article on Realtor.com which was reported by the National Association of Realtors on the most difficult buyer types that can make your life miserable. If you didn't see the article, I'll summarize it for you right now. First, they talked about the serial lowballers who think they're going to eventually get exactly what they want way below the home value. With the low inventory, rising home value, short days on the market, and multiple offer environment, it's just not a realistic strategy. After you educate this buyer and they still want to continue lowballing offers, you may just want to walk away. Next is the picky shopper who is so detailed to what they want that the perfect home just may not exist or it might not come up for sale while they're looking. Buyers have to be practical about what their needs are versus what they want. Cosmetic items like paint color, carpet versus wood floor, appliance colors, or even countertop surfaces can definitely be changed over time. But if they need a single story home, they can't be corrected, right? If a buyer is unwilling to compromise or quickly discount the home because of the eggplant colored walls in the kitchen, you may want to cut ties and not waste your time because they're going to be difficult. Then we have the conspiracy theory buyer who thinks a home is way too close to a cell tower or power line, backyard needs to be tree lined with cedar trees so neighbors can't see into their backyard, and on and on and on. Often with such strict criteria, again, the home may never exist. Encourage your new buyers to really lay it all out so you can decide if it's worth your time to work with them or if you just wanna walk away. And finally, it's the complicated life buyer whose boyfriend is gifting the down payment and the cousin's brother's uncle needs to help. Life has a lot of complications, but I'm sure you can spot the types of complications that can make it a troubling or challenging transaction or even a non-starter. It was a great article, so check it out for more details. Now for minding your own business. Hey, fall is coming and all the pumpkin flavored items are front and center right now in Target. Just check it out. To keep your services top of mind, think about having a pumpkin carving contest. You can host a party, provide the pumpkins, but you don't even really need to have an event for it. Just have them post a photo of their carvings on your Realtor business page on Facebook. Have people vote for their favorite. It's a lot of fun. You can even have several categories like funniest, most creative, scariest, etc. Another kid-friendly idea is to do a fall-themed coloring contest with a coloring page that you post on Facebook or email a PDF to them. Again, have them take a photo, post it on your Facebook business page. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.